today I thought we would tackle some book pages because I know by the response I've had in the past, I know that you guys are like me. You're always looking for ways to use up these book pages. And I picked this um, hymn book up at a car boot probably three, four, eh, yeah, about three weeks ago. Look at that. It's got the old tape. <laughs> I love that. Um, and I just love this book, but look at how many, I mean, I've got nine, 900 pages, so I thought, oh, I better get started tackling this. So, today I thought it would be fun to make a tag with a pocket for the, for our journals. Um, and I want to keep this at three and a half because uh, depending on what size journal I'm working with, if you if I'm going to mass produce, um, I I I've got to make sure that I do it you know in a size that's going to be working in both sizes of mine because my little ones are about four inches so this will be fine. So what I've done, guys, um, I've just taken this is going to be the pocket. I've taken two pages. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue stick down, but not a whole lot, um, because I'm going to sew all the way around this to create the pocket. So I'm not going to go crazy with the glue, because it's not necessary, to be honest. So just for the purposes of this. This is a nine and a half by six. And like I said, I've, I've folded it so that it's going to end up a three and a half inch pocket. And I'm going to go ahead and cut out a half circle here so that when I go to the machine I can try to stitch this down. I want to try to stitch around that. So I'm going to do that. Now I've taken a single sheet and I've just folded it and I know that I'm going to lose some of the width once I've run that through the machine. I'll try to keep it as close to the edge as I can, but I've made this small enough that hopefully I'm not going to run into issues with that going in and out. So I'm going to just take this to the machine now, guys, and do a straight stitch as best I can. I'm not great around these, but around this, and then we will glue that together. And then on this one that's folded, I'm just going to stitch this well, I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and cut it in the shape of a tag. And then I'm just going to stitch all this together so that it's got a nice weight for going in and out of the pocket. So I will be back and we'll get this embellished. Okay guys, you can see I've run a stitch around the perimeter and then I came back and stitched this and then it occurred to me to keep the bulk down I went ahead and ran another stitch, and I'm just going to snip off um, a bit of this excess just because, you know, any way I can cut down on bulk. Now, I'm not going to throw that out because I'm going to run a stitch later, and that'll be a, a tuck spot, so I won't get rid of that. But just to keep the bulk down, that's what I've decided to do. And then here is the tag. So I'm going to go ahead and get a hole punched in this. And let me get some glue. <coughs> Excuse me. Get some glue on this. and along this bottom to hold that. Okay. 
Okay. Just taking some ink, going to distress this a bit. So again, I'm working on some embellishments for more <clears throat> of vintage theme journals. I want to get a few things ready. And I want to put... I'm just putting a little reinforcement label. And I've just taken these, and I sometimes I just run my pad over them, and then you can get a nice color. That's how I end up doing those. Okay, so we've got a good base started now. I've printed out these little beautiful girls. Now, these are just off the internet. And uh, I just love those little girls. They're so sweet. It's been ages since I've used any pictures like this. I mean, I don't know. I guess I've been more into uh, botanicals the last couple of years. But um, so when I first started, I, I did quite a lot of the vintage shabby. And I just got away from it um, for a while. You know how you do. You just kind of go through little periods of different things. But I just thought, I'm ready. I'm ready to get back to some fun, you know, just something different. I feel like I need a bit of a change. Here's just a doily. I don't know, it was ripped or something. So I've stuck it in my little scrappy folder and I'm just going to, I'm not going to worry about this. Um, to, oh, actually, you know what? I'm not going to do it on the tag. I'm going to do it on this because I don't want anything bothering this tag. I want to be able to get that in and out easily and isn't that going to be pretty with that um, reinforcer there. I love that. So this is what I want to decorate. So I'm just going to start with a little bit of the the glue stick. Like I said, I I haven't planned this out. I'm just going with it because I'm getting terrible about overthinking things, and then I get frustrated and I don't get anything done. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Um, just again pulling out scraps of stuff and just gonna see if I can make it work. I know I don't want these straight edges, so those have got to go. And before I glue it down, I'm just going to start placing things. I like the idea of the little banner somehow incorporated in that. And then this, I think that would be pretty somehow on the back. Because I want to see that wording. I really, really like that. So I'm just thinking if I just layer stuff maybe a little bit. Postcard. I don't know. That's a bit much. I think, I think I'm really liking that. And it's very neutral. Guys, let me grab some laces now. 
because I'm inclined to keep this one with no color. And I didn't really have an idea when I set off, but I'm now thinking that I'm really, really liking. And I like that little bit there. Maybe down slightly with some lace. And then let me see what I got here, guys. this folder out. This is various bits I've got. Okay, here we go. Gosh, it's, it's so much better when you can see. So, I kind of think the parcel post. If I don't like it, I'll take it off, but just going to start with that one and see if that's, because I don't want anything that takes away from her. Isn't she just adorable? And then that with, um, okay, yeah, I'm very, very happy with that. Okay, guys, let's start getting this down. Now, this is the part that I don't like doing because it all comes up and then it's just like, oh, I'm getting it back in the way I want it. But I really think that's, that's the way I want to go with that. So the first thing I'm going to do is get this inked. And glue it down. Just add a little more ink here and there. Okay, let's get this down here. I don't want to get it too much. I always, always worry about making things too busy. I don't know. It's a, it's a bit of a fear that I've got because um, you know I kind of lean towards more simple and I don't want to cover all of that doily I just realized that see <laughs> I kind of like the idea of that somewhere okay let's let's think about this again because I don't want to cover that completely There we go. That's that's good. Okay, so now I've got to have some Fabri-Tac to get this lace. Isn't that beautiful? Let me show you that lace up close. That's some old, old lace. Love it, love it, love it. So my market is supposed to be coming back at the end of the month. And uh, I don't know quite what to expect about it because obviously there's still a lot and I mean a lot of restrictions so <clears throat> I don't know if it's going to be as good but I'm certainly going to go and have a browse and just praying that um, that it will all be A good, you know, not for, for my sake, but for the people. Gosh, so many people make a living with these markets, and they've just been... And the other problem you've got is a lot of people, those are cash. 
businesses and so they can't even claim help you know during oh it's just yeah so I don't know what to expect with it but I'm so looking forward to going out and having a browse all right well, I'm now gonna put this up here I think because that I'm gonna put the button down on the bottom there these little labels that I just showed that was Artie Mays she's got a kit with those. So see how that's looking now. I don't know, I feel like the button. It's gonna be easier if it's up here, I think. But I think I think it needs to go down there. Alright, so let me grab because I want this one done in this dark so I'm going to need to thread a needle. Okie dokie, let's try this. I want another little bit of scrappy lace, guys. And I think the white is going to contrast that nice. So let me see if I can stitch this. I just thought this dark would be kind of pretty. And just a little bit of glue there. I mean, those are quite thick buttons. So you're going to have a little bit of bulk in the journal from that. And if you wanted, you could you could decorate this. I am not going to because the chances are I'm going to probably make a little writing space on the front and back of this with maybe some um, leftover like some leftover tea dyed paper or something is what I'm thinking is just creating some writing space on that. <coughs> Let me get a little bit of lace to go on that. So yeah, I'm going to try today to spend some time just stitching these. I won't embellish them, but I just want to have these stitched and ready. Um, 
and then you can, you know, they can just be embellished as and when I need them, and hopefully you'll do the same because um, it's not taking that much time. It's the, the time is in the embellishing, really. And then I can always, based on whatever project I'm working on, I can come back and either decorate the tag inside or add, like I said, the tea dyed paper to create a writing space. But isn't that pretty? And so, how that's going to look in a journal, we could glue that down on three sides and make a tuck spot or do this three and have another pocket there. So I love that. I think she's just precious. I hope you guys have enjoyed that and uh, I will be back very soon.